Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Happy Friday to all of our power listeners out there. Dave Nation in the house. I hope everyone's having a good day today. We have Gabby, and she's not accepting the story Zach is sharing, and this is what happens. It's actually a pretty big story, so I want you to stick around for the end. I'm going to be playing several clips. Gabby says Zach changed the story to protect Katie. She's claiming Zach's got alternative facts. She's claiming Zach's Saw. And look, this is what makes my channel successful is that we can all watch the same scene play out and we can have differencing of opinion. We have the right opinion and then your opinion. I'm kidding. We've all got different opinions. And we respect that. But the truth is, it's usually more nuanced than just a one person's evil and one person's the, the you know, the hero. And this is just Zach is trying to have a conversation with his fiance right next to him and make it make sense while also not throwing Gabby under the bus. A tight needle to thread. Follow me on Instagram at dneils, patreon.com slash Dave Neal for behind the scenes bonus content. I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I've got in the works, some behind the scenes content, things like that. I'll also do a full um, a monetization report, what the channel made in March. If you guys are curious about the channel and the behind the scenes, things like that, we've got that all on the Patreon. And also don't forget every afternoon Bachelor Rush Hour, the podcast. So we're going to get into all of it. So we had Katie and Zach on Sarah Heron's podcast. Let's play a clip of this and and then I'm going to play the clip in question. You guys can decide for yourself if Zach is playing this right or if we're going to have a bigger problem. And then I'm going to share what Gabby says. She is she uh, she um, directly acknowledges that Zach's story is different from hers. You did claim last night that you guys agreed to keep what happened between the two of you. Between the two of you, is that how you felt that it went down and? What happened there? Oh, Sean is infamously, you know, chose not to have sex in the fantasy suite. How much of his advice did you take um, going into that? And how much did that weigh into oh, the decision Gabby. state was next? Okay, so anyways, we don't get their answer there. But if we go over to the podcast page, we will get their answer here. So here's what Zach's answer is as far as the decision to keep it a secret with Gabby going back on that decision and what Gabby has to say afterwards. Happened between the two of you between the two of you. Is that how you felt that it went down and what happened there? Yeah. So, you know, that whole week of me setting that precedent, when things did not go the way I thought they were going to go, I felt immense guilt, but I also didn't want to hurt Gabby or, or freak her out and just let her know like, Hey, like I feel really bad about this because of like, from what I personally, you know, did of me going against what I thought I was going to, you know, do. And, you know, in that moment, like I, 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 you know, I told her, I was like, okay, yes, this, this can be a secret. And okay. So here's the problem. And it happens at the 21 38 mark. He says, okay, yes. And I put it in the, uh, in the thing here. Okay. Yes. This can be a secret. Now words have power. They've got meaning how you say them, how things are said. Um, let me, let, let's listen to this again. Does this sound like Zach is taking ownership over what he uh, agreed to, uh, with, with that being that they're not going to talk about the sex? Or does it sound like he's saying, yeah, fine, sure, we can keep this a secret? You know, did a, me going against what I thought I was going to, you know, do. And, you know, in that moment, like, I, 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 you know, I told her, I was like, okay, yes, this this can be a secret. And the guilt ate at me and thinking that, you know, there's an engagement right around the corner and I'm, I'm holding in a secret. Like, I don't know. Holding in secrets is like holding in farts. You can only do it for so long before something sneaks out. Uh, I just made that up. I don't know if that's uh, completely accurate. I don't need any fart experts. Well, technically it's absorbed by the colon. Shut up, uh, you know, uh, Tricia. Okay, so anyway, that's what Zach has to say. He said it was immense guilt. And that's why he's told her after. But he said, yes, okay, we can keep it a secret. Not exact ownership. And again, I'm not here to cross the I's and dot the T's and all that jazz, right? I'm just kind of like the middle child going, well, I think we're not exactly saying exactly what happened because if that's exactly what happened, then we wouldn't have Gabby's response, which I'm going to start playing right now. We have Gabby on Clickbait Podcast, and I've got several different uh, time codes we're going to play. But let's go straight to the 25 55 mark and this is where um this is where we talk about the doubling down of the story well he had doubled down on it being a secret that morning before the camera crews came in he 
I said it on after the final rose. I remember I was brushing my teeth. He came up behind me. He kissed me on the back of the head. And he said, this is just between us. And I said, yes, this is just between us. It was probably the second, third time we had said, this is just between us. There it is, folks. So we had a little bit of a different story here. That's our relationship. Okay. And so when he came into my hotel room, you know, what, what he said to me was, I don't want to start a relationship off with secrets. And I, and I thought maybe at the time, maybe he's giving me like space to be able to speak to, you know, my support team about this. Maybe like he wants me to not feel like I have to keep a secret. So initially that makes sense. She says, okay, he doesn't want to keep secrets anymore. So that's, that, that means I can talk to my producers and friends and the people that I have at my disposal to help like coach me through this versus them deciding in the fantasy suite, no one will ever know. And it left some room for interpretation because it was sex of any kind is off the table. You know, people can interpret that however they want to. Um, what I what I was not aware of is the conversation that was being had with Jesse and, you know, his interviews where he was using my name. He was speaking what I think is in detail about what had happened. Um, and, 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 and to a point, she she's right. Uh, Zach didn't have to tell Jesse. The only person Zach had to tell would have been Katie. Assuming we know he picks Katie, he's going to want to tell her maybe beforehand, hey, by the way, this is going to be on the TV show, whatever. But the fact that uh, he kind of tells Jesse, and it, it really cements this storyline. And Katie and uh, Gabby, of course, didn't find this out until watching it on TV last week. Um, that caught me very off guard watching it back uh, because I knew... By the way, where is she recording from? I hear seagulls in the background. The tough life out here. You know... Katie knew because of what she, what we talked about after the roses were given out, but mm. watching it back, I didn't realize how much had been revealed, I guess is what I'm trying yeah. to say. Like, yeah, I get that. So look, I'll let you guys decide here. Our good pal, actually, I don't know her at all, but I think her mom watches our channel. Elizabeth Kitkowski made this article. She writes for Variety and also Reality TV World. Bachelor runner-up Gabby, uh, uh, colon, or is that a semicolon? So, colon. Z Col semicolon? Semicolon? Z I'm going to get 50 different teachers. Why don't you know this? Zach Shalcross changed his story to protect Katie Bigger relationship. So obviously, first of all, the titles aren't always written by the author, so this might be an editor's decision. But did Gabby essentially say, and again, this is where we need X-Files music, uh, did she essentially say that Zach changes his story to protect Katie? That's the question. Let's, let's keep this story going. That is the scariest thing. That's I'm not on the wrong one. Let's keep this story going. Let's hear what Gabby has to say. He, he, you know, that's where he, in my opinion, is the is wrong. Like you can't tell somebody it's just between us and and then go say it. But I do want to ask you if, um, if he didn't say anything, and he ended up getting engaged to Katie, and she asked you, would you be honest with her, or would you say? <laughs> Yes. I mean, me and Katie are very close friends and it's not about, it's not about, I guess, like her knowing it, yeah. if he, I'm okay with her knowing and the people that should have known being made aware of it. But I think that there could have been some discretion used when mm -hmm. speaking about it, which is where I think, um, that, that hurts me. And the one person who knew about the parameters was Ariel and, and she wasn't informed, which was disappointing to me after coming off the show when, you know, I spoke to her and she had no idea. Like she was standing in that rose ceremony, just as confused as I was. And he's, he's just speaking to Katie. Now, look, I can understand why he didn't tell Ariel on her way out. Hey, we're breaking up. By the way, I, I hooked up with someone else. I can understand that. But I'm surprised he didn't try to, like, DM her once the season was over and just, like, get everyone so that they're just so that people aren't surprised. I feel like that's where a lot of the pain comes from is people watching the edit for the first time and being surprised. Not just your journey. There, there is somebody else that is potentially going to end up with you. So it's it's theirs and everybody else's as well. Um 
Yeah. And okay. I, and I also, I understand the level of pressure he was feeling. Yeah. And so I don't want this to be like me, you know, just shitting on Zach. Like that's not what I'm trying to do here. Um, I just think that it's tough with him knowing like there is a life that I'm impacting by this decision and it's beyond a TV show because I am still being impacted by this. Um, yeah, and that's that's what the issue comes down to. It's not that it's not whether or not they should have kept a secret. Like Zach absolutely had the right because it's murky, right? Because it's a polyamorous relationship, really. Where Gabby's want Gabby and Zach agree to a secret, but then Katie has the right to know if their relationship is going to go forward. So Zach's really in the hot seat, right? He's in the hot seat because he's sitting next to. Like, who's he going to defend? His relationship with Katie or Gabby? So there's always going to be some collateral damage here. But again, he probably could have been more eloquent in the way he described his secret with uh, Gabby. But the way he's saying it makes it sound like she was worried about not about this information getting out. And he's like, no, 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 we can make it. We can make it a uh, we can keep a secret because that's what he says. OK, yes, this can be a secret. Now, he might come back and change and say, no, 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 no. I fully uh, admit that I was, you know, the one who want, wanted it to be a secret. But either way, it takes two to tango. When you agree to a secret, you agree to a secret and you have to hold up your word. Like, no, 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 we agreed to it. I'm the, and, and he has apologized and said, you know, my guilt got the best of me, this and that. He just didn't have to do it with the conversation with Jess. He could have waited. I mean, it would have been a tough conversation, but he could have waited to discuss that with Katie in private. The show sets them up for failure and we're seeing it play out right now. I'd love to know what you guys think about all of this. One more funny moment, the 33-17 mark here. One more funny moment where... Gabby was surprised that her conversation with Katie was um, caught on the microphone. So let's go to 3317 here and have a listen. I don't know if either of us thought that us speaking behind our roses was going to make air. Yeah, usually usually when you have to speak behind your roses, that's that's making that's the air. the best time for, to catch you. you know, yeah, for future contestants. How funny is that? He goes, usually when you have to speak behind your rose... It's uh, worth saying, you know what I mean? Like, if ever you have to whisper, like, there's nothing more. There's not. Let me let me tell you guys something. There's nothing more interesting than what you have to say when you're whispering. So sometimes we have this idea that if people can't hear us, we need to shout louder. But I think what we need to do when people can't hear us is to actually get quieter and pull them in. The problem is when you put a rose in front of a microphone. The fucking microphone still works. All right, guys, let me know what y'all think. All right, that was ASMR Dave here, Dave Nation. And we got more content coming your way. Don't forget Patreon. We're going to be live and having fun. If you want to put some bread in the tip jar, go to patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Every afternoon, we have the free Bachelor Rush Hour podcast. You can go check that out. Link in the comment section. And also, if you're wondering when I'm going to perform stand-up comedy in your neck of the woods, join the newsletter. Link for the newsletter is in my link tree in the comment section. It's absolutely free. You can just type in your address, like what part of the country you live in, and I'll let you know when I'm coming to see you, and we can all laugh together. All right, folks, that's it for me. I'll talk to you later.